Hello, in this brief tutorial I'm going to show you how you can set up your Stream Deck to work as a MIDI controller. The first thing you need to do is load up your Stream Deck configuration panel, and here it is on the screen. Click on the More Actions button, and in the search look for MIDI. You'll see there's this uh, MIDI button by this chap called Tom Kelly, and you want to install this. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to click on the Uninstall button but as a quick way of installing it by just clicking on the button that would say install. Once that's installed, it'll add a uh, group of six controllers within your control window, and you'll see it's under the uh, MIDI button section. And these uh, consist of a MIDI note, a MIDI note toggle, MIDI CC, MIDI CC toggle, program change, and an MMC. Well, MMC is a little bit passé. Um, not many sequencing software or MIDI controllers use MMC anymore, but MIDI notes and MIDI CCs are very handy. So I'm just going to copy a few of these MIDI notes into my control window. I'm going to put a couple of MIDI CCs into my control window as well. And then we're going to configure them. So let's click on the first MIDI note. Down the bottom, as in all Stream Deck configurations, you can enter a title. So uh, I'm going to enter a title uh, C4, because that's the note I want to enter. You can then choose the MIDI channel, uh, and there are 16 channels to choose from, but I'm just going to choose MIDI channel 1. You then have to choose your MIDI note. MIDI notes run from 0 to 127, with 0 being the C-1 note, and 127 being G9. So you've got a whole lot of notes to choose from, and you want to choose the note that corresponds to the note you want to play. I've said C4, so I can look up on my lookup table, and C4 is note number 60. So I'm going to type in 60 into the box here. Then you have to choose your MIDI velocity, and uh, I can choose anything from 1 to 127. This is the standard MIDI velocity. If I'm using this as a key switch, it doesn't really matter what velocity I choose because it's going to trigger the key switch. But if I want to use it to trigger an actual note, I need to type in the velocity that I want to use. And the velocity means the, the attack of the instrument or the volume of the sound. So for the sake of argument on this one, I'm going to type in 64, which was halfway from the bottom to the top. Again, if you're using this to turn on or off samples or MIDI note controllers, you want to also send a MIDI note off message, otherwise your MIDI note will just continue ringing until uh, the end of time. So I'm going to choose MIDI note on release. So it's going to send a note off message when I release the button. So you think you might be finished there, but actually no, there's another little section below. We have to click on the setup button and scroll down. And this is where you have the options to use your virtual port or an existing port name. Well, here I could scroll down, I could choose any one of my MIDI interfaces to send the MIDI out message to, but I don't want to do that. I don't want my Stream Deck to communicate with an existing MIDI device. I want my Stream Deck to send out its own bespoke MIDI messages. So I'm going to choose Virtual Port, and I'm going to choose the virtual port called Stream Deck, which is great. So I just need to make sure that my DAW or my virtual instrument sees the MIDI input called Stream Deck. Debug is for the uh, editor's purposes, so I wouldn't bother touching that at the moment. So there we are, we've got MIDI note C4 set up on the first button. So let's go to the second button, and let's set this one to uh, D4. So that's the note up, the one tone up, which is 62 note. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to type in 62, and I'm going to call this D4. You can, of course, use the drop-down here and change your own icons, but I'm going to leave these as they are for the moment. Yet again, I'm going to set a note off on release, set my MIDI velocity to 64, halfway up, and make sure that my settings are still the same. Once you've set up the virtual port for one of your MIDI buttons, it will be active for all of your MIDI buttons. So that's how you set up notes, nice and easy. Now let's set up a CC. Well, I'm going to call this Vol Up because I want this button to take my volume from low down to high up. So you choose your MIDI channel, MIDI channel 1 again, and then you choose which MIDI control change message you want to send. 
Well, you've got a whole choice here. Yet again, 127 MIDI control messages. And conveniently, the person who wrote this program has actually put in most of the common names to these programs. So this is really useful. So I can actually set a modulation wheel or breath controller, but I want to set volume. I want to change the volume of a MIDI channel. So I'm going to choose volume, which is channel seven. You can then decide what you want to do with this. You can set it so it's going to send a single value, so you can send a volume of 50, let's say. You can have a momentary value, so for as long as you're holding the button, it'll send that message. So that's quite good if you want to do a quick increase or decrease, or turn on a lighting system, or do some other kind of MIDI control. What I quite like is this momentary with fade in, or momentary with fade out. So when you press the button, it'll rise up to the value you set, and then when you release the button, it'll fall back down to where you started. That's quite nice for doing little swells or various other controls. So I'm going to choose momentary with fade in in this case. I'm going to set my main CC value, in other words, where it starts from as being, uh, let's say, 30. I'm going to set my secondary CC value to, let's say, 90, and I'm going to ask it to fade in 0.5 seconds. So it's going to take half a second to go from 30 to 90. You've got various fade curves and there are no literature on these so I'm not quite sure what they actually are but I'm going to choose curve 5 because I've used that before and it works quite well. But you may want to experiment with these different curves because clearly they ramp at different rates and have different curve characteristics. So once you're happy with the volume up we can save that and move on to the next one. I am going to call this Sustain. So MIDI channel 1 again. The control message is going to be 64 because that is the control message for the Sustain pedal. There we are. I'm going to set it as a momentary value. My main value being 0 and my secondary value being 1, 2, 7. Because I want this to act like a Sustain pedal. When I press the button, I want my instrument to sustain. So there we are. I've got a new profile called Profile 1 where I can play a note D4, a note C4, have a swell in volume and operate the sustain pedal. So let's load a virtual instrument and see how this performs. Now I've loaded up Piano Tech. It's a virtual piano instrument, which is a nice, nice little piano sound. And I want to see whether my Stream Deck now can control this. So the first thing I need to do is make sure that my instrument is seeing my MIDI device. So I can just go up to Options, go to Devices, and you can see it's listening to all my MIDI inputs, including the Stream Deck input here. So that's good. So uh, let's just see if I press C4 or D4 on my Stream Deck, does it play a note? Yep. Brilliant. So it's playing those notes at a fixed velocity, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's how notes work, nice and easy. I can play a very simple melody then using my Stream Deck, or I can use them to trigger any other MIDI event. So what about the CC messages? Well, let's start with the sustain message. Um, there's four little pedals on the piano tech, and as most pianos have, one of these is a sustain pedal. And normally this is attached to the pedal on the floor under my piano. When I press the pedal, it responds to the sustain message, which is great. So when I play, take my fingers off the keys, the note continues to ring because the sustain pedal is down. So how does this respond with the Stream Deck? Let's try that again. Play a couple of notes, press the sustain button, and it continues to sustain until I take my finger off. So the sustain pedal responds now to the sustain button, and that's brilliant. And the last thing we did was the volume up, and we programmed the volume up to start from a low volume and ramp up to a high volume, and then release back to the low volume again. So let's play a little chord, and press the volume up button. There we go. It goes up, and when I release it, it comes back down again. So that is absolutely brilliant. So we've used now the Stream Deck to play a couple of notes and control some CC messages. So I hope that gives you an insight into how you can program this to play notes and control MIDI devices. And in the next tutorial, I'll just go through how we set it up to do key switches for your virtual instruments.